Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I'm gonna go hang out with Jacob and some other people in Steveston. So Jacob should be here probably within a half an hour or so. So, got all ready and I thought I would show you the final picture I was working on in the previous vlog because it'll already be out by the time you see this. But um, this was a little picture I did for the Patreon exclusive this month. So I thought it was kind of cute, really simple, but um, I mean, it's got detail in the like doodly background, but the character itself is pretty simple. So I like that. And I guess that's all I really need to say for now. All right, guys, we made it here. We're considering eating here at this fish and chips place. It's really busy, so I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but yay. I like being by the water and all the boats. They're so cool. Do you wanna walk out onto the dock there? Yeah. I mean, the water is kind of murky, but it's still nice. It'd be really nice just to be chilling over there on that little beachy area. We are officially on the main street for Once Upon a Time. I filmed here, like, I come here a lot. I know I have a lot of new subscribers though who maybe haven't seen those vlogs, but this is like the main street for Once Upon a Time. That's the library right there. You can see it doesn't actually have a tower because that is actually CG. So, oh, it's cool. It's fun coming down here because I've been down here a couple times when the buildings are set up for the show, so it's, it's cool to come when it's not all set up and see what the stores actually look like. All right, we did a little walk around and we're just gonna wait for everyone else to get here while we sip on a Starbucks. I got the caramel ribbon frappuccino, so deadly. Sitting on the roofie. Okay, that doesn't work as good as the water song. <laughs> Bars in the attic. Just no. Join my. Weird no. Movies. So just my brother just to get it on. <laughs> just now you're on there. <laughs> this is gonna be a little tricky to eat though. I, oh well. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Lean over. Mm -mm. They're so big. If it falls, that wouldn't be good. Oh. That's crazy. All right, we finished up our little afternoon lunch. Now we're just going for a little walk through this park. It's really pretty out here. This is really cute. Oh, a little bridge. <laughs> Steveston Fisherman's Memorial. I really want to get another one. Phoning cycle. By John Skowski. Well, it's just like you, you get to a point where you start, you know, like I would get to yeah. Here's the big boat. Yeah. Boat unknown. Yeah. Oh no. We knew the people. Yeah. A lot of Japanese people. Oh god, onward ho. Yeah, look at how many there were on the boat. This is why I love Vancouver. Mountains and ocean. Best of both worlds. These fishing rods. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good? Short? We uh, uh, came back here. Well, just Jacob and I, and Jacob was here and we watched Once Upon a Time. Now, well, Jacob just left, and I'm just being weird. Excellent. My dress works perfectly for sticking these. Let's try a bigger balloon. Some of the other flavors just no, are too sweet. No. Three balloons have popped on their own now. It's really scary. I've only I was only here for two of them, but it's so loud, it's so scary. <laughs> Excellent. 
All right, so we watched some Outlander and then I just sat on the phone, or sat on the phone, <laughs> sat on the couch while playing on my phone, while just kind of like looking up, like reading the news, looking at Instagram, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna finish wrapping up my mom's present, which I started on before Jacob and I left. And that's pretty much it. We were at Steveston, like good chunk of the day. We got back at like 5.30. So we're going like all day for that. So anyway, that is probably gonna be it for today though. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Monday and I just got home from donating blood. I was gone for over two hours, about two hours and 15 minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> it was a lot busier at the clinic. And so I had to wait a little bit. It, I mean, I had an appointment and everything, but the last time I went, there was pretty much no one there. So you just kind of got pushed through to the next round super quickly, but it's fine. It was still fun and everything. Well, <laughs> as fun as it can be to donate blood, I guess. And I'm feeling okay, but I'm scared I'm gonna fall asleep because I normally do. Um, there's only two times where I can't remember if I fell asleep or not, but I know every other time I did fall asleep. So I'm like, should I? you know, make a conscious effort to try to stay awake or should I just accept the fact that I should sleep and maybe set an alarm so I only sleep for maybe two or three hours because I'll usually sleep for three to four hours. I'll be like sitting on the couch, doing my thing, and then I wake up four hours later and I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> so, I don't know. I kind of would like to just stay asleep so I can get some art done and everything. So maybe I'll try to do that. We'll see how I feel. Usually I don't fall asleep till I've been home for an hour or so, so we'll see how this goes. But otherwise I feel pretty good. I feel like I wanna lie down and I'm like, no, no, you're gonna fall asleep. Cause I just randomly lay down sometimes. I'll like get out of my chair and just lie on the ground for a little bit. The problem is sometimes I just end up falling asleep and I know I will today. And I'm keeping the blinds closed because the sun makes me really sleepy. I think that's why I fell asleep on the couch that one time after donating blood is because it's so warm and nice and it's like, mmm, then asleep. So I, I stood up and I was like, I'm just gonna go like lay in the bed for a second. And then I was like, no, no, don't do that. Why would you do that? I'm just gonna fall asleep. Ugh, maybe I'll just get myself some lunch or something. Kind of a late lunch, it's 2.45 now, so. Hmm, a veggie tray still exists. Veggies left. I know I just did a Copic chart recently. I did this one here, but someone tweeted me a few days ago telling me about this hex chart and I modified it because this, this was not here. There was just text here. It said like hex chart really big and there's some other info. And then the grays were on a separate page and I wanted it all on one page. So I just like deleted the text and then put on the old original boxes because how this hex chart works is colors are sorted, like they're placed next to other colors that are similar to them. They're not in order of numbers like they are on this chart. And I really liked that idea. So yeah, but I feel like for grays, it doesn't really matter because they're just grays. Like it's not important for them to be arranged as hexagons because this just fit much more nicely than the hexagon design for the grays. So that's what I did. And then I stuck black 100 and 110 at the very bottom and another thing I did was on these you see how there's little symbols to say which Copic markers are available in those colors like whether the chow is available in that color or not um, I erased those off the box just so it's a little cleaner so that's kind of like my modified Copic hex chart so I may or may not color that in today I kind of want to because I'm going to be doing some more art so Maybe I'll do this first. All right, here's my progress. <laughs> it's not that much, but I'm gonna head out because my prints are ready at London Drugs. I'm gonna uh, pick those up, then I'll probably finish the chart and then do some Patreon packaging. <sighs> okay, made it back. Thought I was, I was getting a little scared going up the hill basically, because it's a pretty steep hill. It gets steeper the closer you get to the top of the hill, <laughs> but I just, kind of paced myself so that we wouldn't have a repeat of the last time I walked up a hill after donating blood. Okay, anyway, so I got some Canadian stamps. I got 30. I still have eight left over from last month, so hopefully that's enough for Patreon. It should be. And then I ended up getting a whole roll of international stamps and a whole roll of U.S. stamps. There's 50 in a roll. Um, 
probably don't need quite that much, but I want it to be safe. And the ones I don't use this month are gonna get used next month anyway, so it didn't really matter. So tons of steps, $125, look at that, for this, this little thing, $125. Ah! That's crazy. This one was only 60, and this one was like, I don't know, it's 85 cents per stamp. 85 cents times 30. <laughs> Much cheaper. <laughs> Now, for the prints, da -da -da -da. I already checked them out at the store, just to make sure they weren't crap. Okay, here we go. B and Puppy Cat! Da -da -da -da. Cute, very cute, nice and bright. Awesome. There's 105 of each, by the way, because I currently have 105 $12 pledgers, but, um... A couple of those are from this month, but still that gives me a couple extras, plus some payments are going to be declined anyway, so I like having a few extras in case I screw up the signature, or sometimes if a little black piece of dirt gets on it, it won't, um, like, it won't come off the print, it'll stick to the gloss and not come off, so I like to have some extras. So yeah, here we go. I didn't erase the signature on this one just because it was in a weird spot and I was like, ah, oh, it's kind of hidden anyway. So there is a signature still on it. Same with this one. It's like teeny tiny by the leg because these are going to get signed by hand as well. So um, that's why I would prefer to erase the signature sometimes, but I think it's fine with these ones. So yay, this one looks like it's got like dust on it white specks. This is why I like to have extras because some of them are maybe defective or I spill water on it. You never know. <sighs> Excellent. I'm going to start packaging these today but first I'm going to finish my chart and watch some Spongebob while I do it. Some of these placement choices are a little questionable like why is this these two saturated blues separating these desaturated ones? It doesn't really make sense. V04, why is V12 not beside V15? I don't know, like, there's some questionable ones, but, um, still pretty cool. I'm having fun coloring it in. You know what I just realized? The lady who made this apparently spent several months rearranging it and trying to figure it out, and she printed off, she said something like 60 or 80 times or something, she's colored this out. Why wouldn't she just, like, cut out the hexagons and position them like with her fingers and then like take a picture of it and replicate it on the computer like wouldn't that be so much easier than recoloring this 80 times just p piece it together like a puzzle anyway that was my thought <laughs> so people in the comments have brought it to my attention that apparently you can't watch spongebob on netflix anymore in the united states that's sad. We can watch it here in Canada, but there's only season one, five, six, and seven. Like what? The first three seasons are my favorite, and I actually haven't seen most of the stuff from season five and onward, and I'm not even 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of season four, but um, you don't have to pause it, Christian. <laughs> it was already playing when I was talking. Anyway, so I'm really sad. There's not season two and three. But, um, yeah, I've already watched all of season one, and I'm on season five now. So, yes, I'm glad it's here, but I'm still sad that it's not all the episodes. But I'm sure I can just find a website online and just watch it there. I'm going to film myself signing because I don't want to film my face right now because I haven't showered or anything, and I'm la nasty. So, anyway, um... Yesterday I went to the post office because one, I had to pick up these prints, it's in the same building as the post office, and I also had to buy stamps and I had to mail my mom's present. And um, while I was there, I was like, oh, I'll try picking up Christian's package because his there was an attempted delivery on his Nerd Block monthly subscription and uh, I missed the delivery because I was out donating blood. And then I got there, they're like, oh, the package isn't here yet because attempted delivery was just today. And I was like, oh yeah, duh, like I normally know that. I don't know why, I just had a brain fart or something. Like, of course this package is not there yet. And so, um, yeah, it was all fine and dandy. Christian went up the hill this morning to go pick it up because it should be there today. Um, Christian went up there and the lady scans the ticket or the card, whatever you want to call it. And she's like, oh, it's not here. 
so call this number. And I asked Christian, I was like, well, did she even go into the back room and look for it? And he was like, no. And I was like, well, that's stupid. So I checked the tracking number on the email I received because I'm the one who ordered it. And um, it says their attempted delivery was yesterday. And then now it's back in Ontario. And I'm like, excuse me, how did it make it all the way across the country in like half a day? So um, I phoned in that number that the post office lady said to phone. And the person I talked to on the phone said that scan was likely an error and that it's actually not in Ontario, most likely. So I gave her my info. They're looking for the package right now and they're going to contact me when they find it. But I bet you it's at the post office. And because of that incorrect scan, the post office lady just assumed the package wasn't there, but she didn't actually look for it. Like, it's probably there this whole time. So now we're going to have to go up the hill a third time to pick it up. And I was like, well, maybe I'll do that later today if they get back to me today. I'll pick it up for Christian. And normally, like, it depends on who the worker is, but sometimes they don't let you pick up the package if it's under someone else's name, even though you have the same address. Like, my mom used to pick up packages for me all the time, but I guess it depends on the location as to how strict they are with that. They didn't say anything about it when I tried picking it up yesterday, but um, I try or Christian signed the back of the ticket today anyway. And so I'm looking at it right now. He put his own name instead of mine. It says name of authorized individual. He writes his own name and signs it like, yes, he's supposed to sign it, but he's supposed to write my name so that I'm authorized to pick it up. And he wrote his own name. I'm like, Christian, you dummy. Like I texted him. I was like, dude, now I can't pick it up for you if it comes. So... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I actually got through the whole stack. Dang. Anyway, that's my little mail story. That's how my day is going so far. Yay, I just signed all these. There's 105. Actually, there's two that I deemed defective, so that's like 103. Um, just like when there's finger smudges that don't come off or like the gloss can get scratched. Wait, what was wrong with this one? This one looks fine. What did I do with this one? Oh, there's... They're kind of like scratches of hair. I don't know. I'm just very picky. So <laughs> these two did not make the cut, but there should still be enough here. So now I got to sign all the doodle deer, doodle deer, doodle deer. It takes a long time. Don't get your fingerprints on it. I try to minimize touching it because it's glossy and your finger marks can stick to it. Doodle deer, doodle deer. Because of the doodles, there's not really room to sign it. Like where... There's already, like, the built-in signature, <laughs> like, sign again on the chest. Ah! Or I could just do it here, because then it's not... Like, I don't like the signature to be too noticeable. You know, I kind of like it to blend in. Like, with these ones, it's darker in the corner. So, um, it's not, like, instantly noticeable. It's... Okay, it's kind of harder to see on camera than in real life. But it's still visible, but it's it sort of blends in. That's kind of what I go for, so... Yep, yep. Packaging up this Patreon stuff is actually one of my favorite things to do. I love signing the prints, putting them in their little cello bags, making up the newsletter, making up the little stickers, and just packaging it all, putting on all the address labels. I don't know why, I just really, I look forward to this so much throughout the month. I'm like, I just want to package Patreon stuff. It's just, I don't know why I find it so fun, but it is. So that's good. I knew it. I knew it. We were lied to. <laughs> It says you can pick up you can pick up the package as long as the address is the same. It doesn't matter if you have the same name. They've gotten in a tizzy about that in the past. I can now flip this over and be like, look, it says right on the frickin' thing that I can pick it up. Wow, wow. You only need to sign below and write the person's name if they live at a different address. So, good to know that now I have proof. Ha ha ha. There wasn't really room to sign Doodle Deer on the front. So I'm signing them on the back and um, I took a picture and asked the $12 patrons which they'd prefer if I sign fronts or backs. And um, yeah, most people are saying, well all people actually so far, there's 11 votes, all say front. So yay, the only time I'd sign on the back is like with Doodle Deer, if there's no room on the front, then I'll sign the back. But it seems like most people like it on the front, which is what I've been doing, so I will continue to do so. Oh, oh, we now have one person going the other way. Makes it a little more exciting. <laughs> you guys, oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, this is on my Facebook feed. This is so gorgeous. But this is very similar to what I was picturing for this. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I had this like whole thing doodled out. It's different, but it's like very similar where the girl's hair, it's like the same side of the page too, same side, like <laughs> it's like the exact same composition basically, where the girl's hair is actually water, but I was gonna do like stupid things like people boating on her hair and stuff, but still, it's like too similar. I feel like I can't do that other idea now. Like I don't want to. I'm just like, nope, cause all I'm gonna think of the whole time is this and how this one's ridiculously better uh, okay, let's just scrap that idea. Okay, so now I'm packaging these up into their plastic sleeves and I need to get this right because last time I packaged them all and then I fanned through them all to make sure it was all the same photo. Then I flipped it over, fanned through it again to make sure it's all the same photo so one person wouldn't get two of the same print by accident. Yet somehow one person got two of the same print by accident. So I'll be sending her the missing one this month along with her <laughs> normal prints. But it's just like, how did I miss that? So I'm gonna be extra diligent this time so I don't do that. I don't really think I'm gonna mess it up this time though because I'm grabbing both prints at the same time. Last time I was gonna put each print in its own baggie but now I'm doing both in the same bag. So halfway through last time I was like, no, I wanna put them in one bag. So I had to reopen a lot of bags and put additional prints in them. Like it was kind of a mess. This way it's much more organized this time. Like I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna mess up. So here's hoping. I finally showered! It's 6.30, I showered probably like at 6 <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't straighten my hair, so if you see like the damaged bits sticking out everywhere, that's why. I just hairsprayed my bangs into place. <laughs> Good enough. Um, I think I'm just gonna plop on some YouTube videos while I clean the kitchen. Then I'm gonna keep packaging up Patreon stuff. I got all the prints signed and put in their little sleeves. So I'm gonna keep working on that kind of stuff. And I need to get some kind of sticker out and maybe make the newsletter. Just, just keep working on that for today. And then I'll work on my next YouTube video tomorrow. So that's my plan. And I might do a little bit of Wii Fit or something because I've just been wanting to do that. And I was gonna do that before I showered, but I was like, no, like I just wanna shower now. I even did the weigh-in on the Wii and then I was like, I wanna shower. And so I showered and I'm gonna go back to it later. <sighs> so I got the kitchen all cleaned up. I uh, just warmed up some water, looking at some tea, and I remembered there's a new episode of Teen Mom out, so I'm just gonna watch that. And I decided I want to make a stir fry, so I'm about to dirty up this kitchen that I just cleaned, but I kind of needed to clean it before I could use it again anyway, so let's make a stir fry. Got the goods. Chicken's almost done, and I can mix it together. I'm so excited to try this new sauce. Try my new sauce. Lemon ginger. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put some of this in it too. Da, 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 da. I'm cutting out a crap ton of stickers while watching some ASMR. <laughs> and uh, I figured I would end the vlog here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Here's my desk at work. It's my last day. My precious little desk. Well, it's not mine, but it's where I work. It's my station. My blankie, I'll have to bring that home today. And my tablet. And my notebook. And my pens. Oh, sad day. But happy day.